I am Nia Simone. Sorry. Nia Simone with Purpose to Be Heard. Caitlin, I just want to ask you this very quickly. Um, I'm right Where here. Sorry, I'm right here. <laughs> hey, um, I know there's been over 17,000 fans that came and showed love. I just want to ask you, uh, as a young rookie coming into the league, how do you maintain the pressure? I mean, for me, like, I don't know, like, these last couple of years, like, I played in front of sold out crowds and these type of environments. So for me, like, it's not that different. Yeah, I'm putting on a different jersey, but like, these environments are something that I've become, I don't want to say used to because it's not something that you get used to, but like, you're accustomed to playing in. Um, and it's fun. Like, t I've never played in Atlanta before. Like, it's fun going to all these new cities as a, as a rookie and, and getting to play in front of their crowds and obviously a lot of fever gear out there. Um, and I thought the crowd was fun. Like you could just feel the energy in the building tonight. And that's what makes the basketball so fun and the game so fun for us. So, um, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. And I thought, I thought we played a really solid game. Yeah. For Melissa and Caitlin earlier this week, you had four straight home games for the first time since 2015. Now it's four straight overall wins since 2015. Just what does that say to the consistency and how you guys are gelling? And then additionally with Melissa, just what's going on with the elbow there? Yeah, Liz, what's wrong with your elbow? I mean, I got hacked all night. <laughs> nah, but um, to the to the point of the wins, um, uh, I mean, we just stayed the course. Like there was a lot of times we was frustrated. You know, nobody likes losing, but you know, we poured in like we always say, and we believed in each other, and we're finally getting the result that we want. Yeah, we got the third row on the left on the aisle there. Oh, no, sorry, no, sorry, no. sorry, sorry, Caitlin. Manuel Glade, the Crush Boys Talk. Coach, uh, the whole green at 33%. What worked for you guys on the defensive side tonight? Yeah, I think we were um, really active. We've really been talking about ball pressure. You've got to put a lot of ball pressure on people, make everything difficult, make everything hard. Um, our post players were working in the post, not letting them get easy touches. We've been really working on these guard-to-guard -guard screens that they run a lot of, just working on sliding through, getting up. Um, just making everything hard. And I thought we did that tonight. Our goal was to keep them under 84. We kept them at 79. Couldn't be more proud of them. Anybody got a mic? I'm going to go first row here on the left, right in the aisle. Hey, this is Megan Hall with USA Today's For the Win. Totally serious question for you. Are you celebrating with the iced out chains that you got earlier? That's for anybody. Are we? I didn't pack mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got mine tucked away. I might wear it. <laughs> um, congratulations on the win. Um, Caitlin, a question for you. Um, obviously, looking ahead to the weekend, mm -hmm. now you can go five straight wins, a hugely anticipated game against the Chicago Sky. All that's been said and done with that rivalry is there. I just wonder, you look at other sports, and there's a lot of people that talk about how a big rivalry helps them find a new level, find an extra gear. Is that something that you feel is applying to you here, looking forward to Sunday's game? I mean, I think we're just taking it one game at a time. Um, and I think that's why we've been able to be successful in this stretch is because we haven't looked too far ahead. It's the game that's always just right in front of us. Um, I'm pretty sure the only people that view this as a rivalry is all of you, like – for us, like it's just a, a game of basketball. Like that's what it is. And if it's gonna help move the game forward, absolutely. Like that's amazing. That's what it should be. Like people could talk about it. Um I mean, yeah, I think it's I mean, I saw the ticket prices. I guess the only thing is like I'm surprised we're not playing at the United Center. Um, I thought that would have been really good for the game and really good for all the women's basketball fans in Chicago. So um maybe there's a conflict of some sort that I don't know about. Uh, obviously that's a little above my pay grade. Um but I th I, we're excited, you know, one game at a time. You kind of got to wipe this and learn from it. And, you know, we travel tonight and get there and practice and it's a prep. And then you're playing the next day at 4 p.m. So, um, like I said, if that's what's going to help the game move forward, absolutely. And um, I think the two prior matchups have really lived up to what everybody expected and just really great basketball games, honestly.